I remember when I went to hospital and I was in prison. They took me to hospital in that cabinet. Everyone was looking at me like from. Everyone just kept staring, taking pictures. Because <laughs> I was handcuffed, didn't I? I was handcuffed. Pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was handcuffed. Basically, Blanco went to jail, played football, and twisted up his ankle. <laughs> so, yeah, I brought my ankle in jail, innit? <laughs> so, hey, is that what I was saying? So, I went to hospital now. <laughs> I was like, this is good content, you know. He did the two pack, he went in with the wheelchair, bro. Yeah, I went in a wheelchair. Imagine. Like, they, they, I, could, I could still claim compensation. Like, I could claim a lot of money. <laughs> My ankle is twisted like this, yeah. Mm. They're, they're, saying, they're saying it's just a sprain. They haven't checked it out or nothing. They're just talking, they're just talking, talking. Saying it's just a sprain, yeah. It's gotten so swollen, it's gotten fat, yeah. It's gotten to the point where... I told my mum to call the hos to call the hospital on the outside, telling that there's a prisoner in prison that's got a broken ankle and no one's doing no one's doing nothing about it. So the governor comes to call, um, called my said, yeah, this is a serious offence. You're calling um, you told your family member to call the police on the outside and that. But they took me to the hospital the next day because they knew. And then when I went to the hospital, they said, yeah, your ankle is broken still. Yeah, they gave me painkillers. They um. Oh, so you went to a public hospital? Yeah, but public hospital. Oh, but you was... Yeah, yeah, they take you from prison, prison, isn't it? They take you... Elisa. Obviously, they take oh, you Oh, so that's camp. why you're saying they were looking at everyone, why is he handcuffed yeah, in yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, obviously, there's, you have to go to... But I said they didn't cover it like, like, with the cloth, like, what happened at your... No, 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 that was only people for respect. They don't cover nothing. They don't yeah, give the a fuck. Like, on my world, we have loads of prisoners. Obviously, you got you, you either got the, the long the long handcuffs. That's annoying because I've been in cuffs. I hate or the short cuffs, one. Fam. It's so annoying, fam. Mm. I've been in hospital for hours and having cuffs. They can't. Nah, that's dead. That's the dead. Golden Court is the worst. And, and your dad was in cuffs as well. Yeah, my dad's funeral was in cuffs. In cuffs. They mocked Seriously. me. That's peak still. Yeah, that's yeah, mad. In cuffs. I didn't know. I thought they were just like put the long cuffs on, but they put the short one so my mum was by my side. Weird. Were they there? They to, they, they were, were they next? Were they yeah, pleased? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to be next to me, so... But obviously, for respect, only one of them. But, like... That's like, Mizzy was top one on the track. No, no, basically... They but They kind of bust him, because they would have gave... They, they normally give, like, some prison... It depends on what prison you're in, like... If there's a prison where they know, like, there's corrupt guards in it, they would... They wouldn't, they wouldn't give you no time. They wouldn't, like, some... They wouldn't give yeah. you extra time. They would just give you, like... 14 days extra, but you can work off the 14 days. No, more time everyone works it off or whatever. Like, if they know that a guy's bringing it in, or, but if they know that you smuggled it in yourself, they would like, they'll give you that, like, they'll take you to court and like, give you that like, three months extra, normally. That's so mad, bro. Did you have to actually go to court? No, 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 no. Mizzy, Mizzy, had pleaded, Mizzy said both of them was his, didn't it? So oh. I didn't go to court. He went to court. Wait, so see so when they're searching your cell, where, where were you not? In the cell as well? No, no, no. They take you out the cell, put you in a different cell and that. Like, that's so man. pissed off when they had it, man. Then they so found they it. Said, yeah, so we uh, yeah. found the phone, lads, so... Yeah. Missing, yeah. And then obviously they'll right. tell you, like, obviously, this is going to be referred to, to the police. And then, obviously, they give you an interview date. Go to your interview. It's like road. They take you to an interview, like road. They'll put you, they give you police questions and that. The policeman will come. Try it normally. If you're in a gang, try it will come. If you're just on For a phone. Gang, That's long, It's long. normally like... China would love to come, like if you're like if you're a gang member, if you're like if you're known, mm. like J Huss, like if J Huss got called the phone, like China will come to give him like the maximum time because mm. he's a known. Like if we were just someone like if I was in jail for like like domestic abuse or something, and then okay, got called the phone, they would probably wouldn't even you take me to court. It depends, like they're weird, that like, some they, it. They, they vary on the people. Some people, they don't get taken to court. Mm. Some people get a little bit of day. Some people, it's weird. But yeah, man. I was going to go, guess what, Joe? I was going to go scrubs, you know. Scrubs? Uh, I want to say, yeah, good evening to Blanco. What's going on, my bro? Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Chilling. Bro, do you know what's been interesting? Um... Like being able to follow you like for the last couple of months and see how you yeah, work, yeah. like it's been an eye-opening experience meeting your team, meeting, meeting the people that you work with. Yeah, they're um, cool, innit? Yeah, man. Yeah, they're, they're wicked. They're wicked people. Yeah, yeah man. This is, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Car. Yeah, it was just a fun experience. Still, not yeah. really much to it. What? What? 
what um what do you see as like the preconceptions that people have of yourself, the Spartans? Because when I, me meeting you guys, you're all cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? I don't know. It's just like I don't know. It's normally like people that don't. And let's say like if you don't come across people like man, like let's say like if you live in like a normal life or whatever, you don't come across people like man. Obviously you. You'll take, obviously, I don't even call it stereotypes, you'll take like, what the media says and feel like, raw it's, it's just gang 24-7 or whatever. Mm. But obviously, it's not like that, isn't it? Like, I feel like, raw like, people that, people think, people, the people that you'll think are the most gang, are like, the most, they've got the, the best heart, the most humblest, really, still. So, mm. That's how I see it. Or they're the realest. Mm. So I see it still so anyways. Can I talk to you? Okay, so you signed a deal. Yeah. You got an EP coming out. Yeah. Um what what brought about the interest in you actually getting your situation with Polydor? Oh. Um, it's not it was more like ringtone, innit? And mm. obviously they've heard like some of my previous stuff and I played them some stuff at the meetings. So what you weren't signed to them when you did ringtone or you were? No, I wasn't signed to okay. them when I did ringtone. <laughs> Okay. But yeah, man, they they heard some stuff. They heard some stuff previously, so they thought, yeah, let's let's have a go, basically. Mm. Mm. And honestly, like, I mean, I know we can be honest, but not super honest. It's it's a it's a you have to adapt when you sign to a label. It's it's a lot slower sometimes to get things out. As yeah, you want. yeah. You, obviously, you can't like obviously beforehand. Like, if you want a video out, just Tell the cameraman, obviously you got your music ready, just tell the cameraman on the film and this day, just do it. And obviously the label, they've got like, they do it in steps. So it's a bit, it's a bit longer because it's just, they're a big business. They're working with a lot of artists, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's, so it's longer. Mm. Yeah. Too long. Now I get it, man, because I think it's the thing of like, when you're ready, they may not be ready. Yeah. And then when they're ready, then you yeah, may not be ready. You may want to move on for something else. Yeah, literally, literally. Yeah, it's exactly like that still. But I want to do a song. Like if if I want to release it, if I have a change of mind, I want to release another song like next week. Obviously, if I, if I was like, if I wasn't with a label, I would be able to probably pull it off. Mm -hmm. But like, obviously, with a label, I have to wait and that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. Do you know, I've, I remember the first time I met you, was at Ramses shoot Ramses show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> and um, was that your first time performing ringtone? Yeah, yeah, that was my first time performing ringtone. I think was I? No, my second time. It's my second time. Because everyone in there knew it. I was looking at the playback of the video, yeah, and everyone yeah, knew the, yeah, the tune. Yeah. yeah, that that was that was kind of like a big hit still. Big up Dr. Vase, but my second time performing. I don't even remember that. Was the remember your first time when you done that like, little... That, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I even forgot. Yeah, I performed it twice. That was my second time performing it, but... Yeah, man. Yeah, it was, it was a good experience, too. I think... Was that on, was that on curfew? No, not, not on that one. Nah, I don't think I was on curfew, still. Oh, no, no, not, not at um, Ram, but the first one that you was. Oh, 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 yeah, I wasn't still. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was my second time. Do you know what's um, <clears throat> another interesting thing is that I didn't realise how young all of you guys are. Like, you're young men. Like, I think I'm old now, you know. I think I'm old now, man. Earlier, yeah, I would have said, yeah, I'm young, but there's, there's guys younger than me. Before, that was, like, the youngest in the game. But now it's... I'm not old, I'm 20. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm 20 now, still, I'm old, literally. I see that as old, like, starring still. I mean, like, I didn't know that your pops had passed, but being that you're doing what you're doing in music, does that mean that a lot of the, you almost have come to become the head of the house in your family, culturally? I was talking about that the other day, still, um, yeah, in a way, in a way, still, because, Obviously, you can't rely on him no more, you know, you mm. gotta... Like, let's say the music thing's a bit fucked, because it's like... 
it's like acting like like you can one day you can be big next day people want, like it's all about your listeners like your supporters that's basically what it's building like it's not like, it's not a steady job so yeah. like yeah man it's, it's a bit mad um yeah like being in the head of the house is a bit it's a bit sticky it's a bit rocky it could, it could go left like but is it pressure? It must. Because yeah, I'm it's thinking pressure. it must be pressure, pressure, bro. Because there's a lot more riding on music than just. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like a job, man. I see it as a job. But like, I gotta be careful with money and that. Mm. Yeah. But you splash a lot on cash. I see you, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that was. That was like. I've, 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 I've lowered the spending down before. I was just like, well, this is a lot of money, isn't it? So like, <laughs> I ain't really. I really had this much, do you know what I mean? So, just felt good splashing a little bit. Mm. But yeah, man, it's bare responsibilities. At that age though, like Rhea and I were talking about, I was saying that, bro, like sometimes you go to university and you have three years and you're off end, you cannot learn to be responsible when you're at uni. But your thing is, you just came out last year, Yeah. you're in a deal. Yeah. And it's, it's like- It's mad, it's mad, obviously. Yeah, but I don't. I don't even see it as. I see that. I see prison as a waste of time. Like I'm just literally. I just wasting my time. Like I just. It was just. It was just a step back. How, I see, how long were you in there for? Bro, a year and nine months, isn't it? Mad. Obviously, to me that was like 18, 19. Yeah, man. Eighteen, nineteen. That was. That was like the prime years. Yeah, but I see that even eighteen, nineteen. That's that's a big opportunity to make money. Mm. That's just missing out on money, literally, from time. I mean, you did say, I think you said before, you said about, um, it's almost like things stand still on the inside, but yeah, things on the outside yeah. are moving. Like, yeah. what was the biggest adjustments you found when you came out that you had to uh, make? Um, obviously, they said, that, obviously, they said I couldn't live at my previous address. Mm -hmm. So I was like, bro, like, this is a, it's a bit mad, isn't it? And they said, bro, uh, I have to stay somewhere like for the first couple months I'm out so I was like hey, this this is different then like, basically they said that uh, I have to kind of like do this on my own basically obviously the game like there's they don't really help you much so it's like come out like if I did uh, rapping like where would I be like do you know what I mean because I wouldn't have a if I was I wouldn't have a house like mm -hmm. I'm going to get a house do you know what I mean? So it's like they give you a certain amount of days till you can like you have to provide them like addresses and stuff. It's so mad, it's so mad. It's, it's it's mental. I couldn't explain it. Like they don't they don't really care about you literally. As soon as you come out, say yeah, you've got to pay for the amount like for your offence that you went in prison for. Obviously you have to pay for but how, how would you get the money for that then? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How are you, how are you going to get You've the money You've been in jail? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit... It's a weird system still. So basically, you told me I have to pay £500 for obviously for carrying a like, possession of a firearm. Mm -hmm. that. And then so obviously I'm like, how, like... If I didn't have... If I wasn't rapping, how, how was I going to do that? Do you mm. know what I mean? But then obviously, they didn't even tell me... They didn't even tell me that I had to pay it. They didn't even let me know. They just, one day, there was bail us at my mum's house. What, just just like that? Just like that. Obviously, obviously, I had the money to pay for it. So it was calm, but yeah, things like that. Do you know what I mean? They didn't even let me know. Like, they didn't even get through to me like, and tell me that. Mm. So it's just weird. That's crazy, man. And it is, but this is when I talk about the age, yeah? Like, I remember, now I'm going to sound like an old man, when I was similar age, I just thank God the internet went what it was now, bro. Because mm -hmm. there's certain things that was going on that if it was documented, it would be like mad. And I've always wondered, like, like your generation, everything seems to hit the socials. Everything yeah, seems to be yeah. like, you know, people getting caught, are being caught off ends. Like, do you have a paranoid, are you paranoid when you go out sometimes to certain places? Because you just, like, because people know who you are now, bro, and you don't know their intentions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm careful, innit? I'm careful about where I, where I step, who, mm. who I who I step with, things like that, innit? You gotta be careful, like these days. Even if you're even if you're a nobody, like 
it still they still get touched so you just I'm just careful innit? literally mm-hmm. so it's it is what it is anyways man when I've seen, like I said when I've seen you, seen you in the studio like you, you take so much detail with your with your lyrics it's a process do you yeah. understand and where does it I mean have you always been like that or is it just since you came out that you've been no, I've always been like that innit because I don't wanna I don't wanna sound like everyone else you gotta, you gotta say different things. You gotta be different. You can't really sound like everyone else. Everyone kind of, a lot of artists sound the same. Like, mm. so it's like I just take time in it. Everything, everything has to make sense. Like I can't just be saying stuff to say stuff more time. But so, like sometimes I do do that. But like you can't really be saying stuff to say stuff. Like, like something's gotta make sense. Like, do you know what I mean? This whole thing with um, with drill. Um, you don't see yourself as a drill artist, do you? Nah. You, nah. Did you see yourself as a rapper? I never saw myself as a drill artist. Yeah, I done drill beats. Some of the beats were even drill, but I don't really see as myself as a drill rapper. I see myself as just as an artist, like a rapper. Just yeah, man. A poet. Like it's it's more like. Yes, I see myself as a, a rapper. Like I can do other other genres. Like it's not just draw. Yeah, and I think I th- yeah, and I think the EP, your EP. That's one thing I think about the EP does. It shows yeah. different sounds, yeah. different sounds completely. And that's what I think. Again, I was saying it to me. I was like, I'm really excited for for the project. Yeah. How 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 comfortable are you with where the project's at? The EP. Um, yeah, I like, I like, I like all the songs on the project. All the songs, all the songs are different. They mm-hmm. all, I all made them at different stages. They're all about different things. Do you know what I mean? But I like, I like, I like it still. Obviously, everyone has their opinion, but yeah, I like it still. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put songs on the project that I didn't really like. Obviously, there's some songs that I've listened to too much, and mm. yeah, it's been, it's been, I've overdone it, but. Yeah, I like, I, when I was making all the songs, I liked all the songs on the EP. Do you yeah, know, man. Do you know, I'll tell you what, some of the most funny things being in the studio with you guys is you, AD, Flam, and when you lot are having like arguments over music, over who's, like when you lot, was it talking about, um, who was it? Um, it wasn't Chief Keith, who was the other guy? The other guy from Chicago. T Herbo. Yeah, and who was the other person you lot were saying was who's harder, G Herbo? Uh, NBA young boy, all that. Yeah, 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 that's it, yeah. bro. When you guys go back to back, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, no, it's, and yeah, it's passionate, I, you know, it's yeah, passion. Because I, I fuck, I fuck with music still. I fuck with music. You can't, like, it's, just, it's it, it gets deep because I don't like when when people are wrong. Still, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I'm right. Like I, like I know what I'm talking about. When it comes to music, I know what I'm talking about. Like everyone knows that NBA is better than all that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> yeah. See, I just tried to stoke it in it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel why, like, why is he better then? Why is he better? Like if you look at like mm, nearly all of NBA songs are bangers, are good, are good. Mm. Lil Dirk has some shit. Like, he has a lot of shit songs. <laughs> like, if it was to compare album for album, like, the NBA will have, like, songs. They're not shit. Like, Lil Dirk might have one or two songs that are not good, like, for his standard. Like, that's what I'm saying. So he's not like, consistent? Yeah, he's consistent, but he's not as consistent as the NBA. That's why he's not better. And NBA's melody is just, like, He's got so many melodies. He's so many melodies. He's got different different songs. He's got so many different sounds. It's, it's different. And the age difference is mad. He's younger than me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. And he's been out for a year. He's been out since, what, 16, 17? Yeah, he's yeah. younger than a man. Lil Dirk's kind of old. Well, he's not old, but he's... In comparison, yeah. Yeah, in comparison, he's kind of old. But yeah, man. Mm. Literally, that's how I see it. Well, yeah, he... You, you let him have this one, yeah? You know what I mean? It's his interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, man. Are you, are you excited now about, 
actually maybe that's not the right word, but you do realise now that music is a so, gateway out of yeah. this other stuff. Yeah, you got to take it serious. Not not too serious though, but it, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's like, it's become a job now. Like, I've got my own house and that, like, do you know what I mean? It's, this is serious now. Mm. This is serious. That's why, I, like, like if, if I'm not happy about something, like, I have to say it because it's, like, it's a man's job. Mm. It's like everyone's got a job. Like, you're, you're trying to keep your job. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do, do, I was gonna say, do all your friends understand that it's a job, though? I've yeah. wondered that because, like, where you are now, not everyone's in the same position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, They understand, they, in a certain way, they understand it's a job, but I don't, I don't think they understand how much, how much of an importance it has, isn't it? Mm. I don't think they know what really, really happens. Do you know what I mean? Mm. They just feel like, yeah, music now is making money now. But they don't see that you have to be careful that. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot of things that are... Um, and there's a lot of preconceptions where people think, oh, you're signed. Every every time this is on this, that man's getting this, or yeah, yeah. the money never ends. And Yeah, yeah the money... Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, everyone thinks the money never ends, though. Mm. The money ends, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the money ends, boy. It's funny. So money goes quick. It goes yeah. quick still. Like, like when, you, when you, like, you have to... Pay bills and like it goes quick, boy. It's quick. Their monthly bills, yeah. their different bills coming in. I don't know how my mum used to do it. <laughs> like when I was younger, like there was there's four of us. The yeah. last time, like, it's paid, boy. But yeah, mum. I think she done fraud. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mum. Oh, okay. It's a question. So. Rhea is your manager. Yeah. I actually, I actually don't know. How did you, how did she become your manager? If I can ask that question, Rhea. Is that okay? Yeah. Because yeah, actually, I didn't know. Like, how did? I don't know what you guys said. Oh, oh. Long story short, I'm gonna keep this on short. She used to know my old person I was working with. Okay. She still know him still. So, yeah. So that's how I met her, basically. And she's taken over then. Yeah. What's she like as a manager? I heard she's not good with names. <laughs> yeah, she's a good manager still. She 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 literally cares about yeah. you know, obviously bad managers don't really care about their artists, but I feel like I feel like she cares about me. Hmm. I, feel like, I feel like it. Feel, yeah. he was, you know he was waiting for you to say he was waiting. Yeah. I feel like she cares. Do you care? Yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah, that's More kind like of what you need. And, like, and she does she does artist. she goes above and beyond. Like yeah, some yeah. Some, some managers don't do that still, mm. so I'm grateful. Thanks. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, okay, so your EP will be out next month. Yeah. Um, I guess it's not, it's too soon to say what's next, but when are we going to start seeing you live, bro? Like, we need to start seeing them Blanco shows, man. Yeah. That's, that's coming, that's coming, that's coming. That's coming. I feel like I need to put more music out before any shows, mm. you know what I mean? I can't just be performing three songs and leaving. <laughs> I got, I got to do at least, at least seven, eight songs. For PAs, you're good with three, bro. Mm. You're good with nah, man, that's not really. I want to be able to do show shows, man. Three songs is just, just a performance. Mm. Yeah, not. Yeah, kind of. Like I want to do like sets in it. Do a big set. But you're giving them too much too soon, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean, but that's how I feel, anyways. Yeah, so you do it different. I want to do it different. It's in the studio when you and Biz made that record. Yeah. And that was funny. The funny thing is, I don't, I don't know. Like Biz was asleep. He was asleep for how long? Yeah. <laughs> and then, like the Undertaker, he just got up. <laughs> yeah. And then I remember you kept saying like, no, no. he's like, no, bro, Biz, you got your bars, you got your bars. Yeah. Where's your bars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's that whole. Um, everyone's trying to pick the beat, innit? Yeah, yeah, With yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole picking the beat. Yeah. I think you were right in the end, isn't it? Was you right? Was it? No, it was me. I was right. Me and Crumbs. Me and Crumbs were right. I was yeah, right. I wanted to do a, yeah. a drill type of beat. But yeah. he wanted to do it like. Yeah, yeah you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had to... yeah. yeah, man. 
um, yeah, that, that, that was that was that was a fire session still. That was a fire session. Do you know what it is like when, like when that like, man's when man's in it in it and Biss is in it in it. Let me see. Yeah, man. I know he's wavy, so mm. like you just have to like get out of him. Like, yeah, you're you're, you're like, like problem like bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come I was on. like, yeah, dude. Yeah, come on after me, then we do that. Like, trust me, he's gonna be wavy. Like, and the beat is mad simple. The beat, like you got certain beats that you can just do whatever you want. You can do how many flows on it, still sound good. That's like the type of. That's why it's, the song's good. Yeah, Biz has that. Obviously, when the song's fully out, people he has that 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 mad bar. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. The mad um, the mad third verse. Yeah, crazy, crazy. It's probably gonna be out by the time this you one, hear yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, are you conscious of how people perceive like the ends or the block, or is it just like normal to you? Um. Yeah, like, obviously, that like, if you're like, I don't know why people make this assumption that raw well, like you can't like if you're a normal person like you can you can come like I don't, <laughs> don't understand but yeah people see it like yeah they're just they're, they're, everyone that comes past is. It's gonna get robbed, stabbed. I don't know why they <laughs> think like that. It's not. It's mm. not. You're not gonna like. If you're a normal person, you're, nothing's gonna happen to you. Like mm. it's not like that. Like, mm. Normal, pe- normal people live in Canada. And, do you know what I mean? The rich people live in Canada. Uh, yeah, man. It's just it's that. If you're a normal person, nothing's gonna happen to you. Mm. Literally. Oh, and lastly, what I was gonna pick up on is um, your last video shoot. I saw it on on the snap when the police were just harassing you, like. At the end of your video shoot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. What was that? So what? So like, what was that about? <laughs> basically, basically, this is what it is. They saw five black people in an Astro. You know how that goes. <laughs> they get obviously it depends on what area you're in. But if you're in Canada or whatever, or if you're like, I'll just say like, if you're in like them predominantly black areas. Or like the areas where there's loads of violence or whatever, like and you have five people in the Astro or any vehicle, bro. And you look like you look around twenty like your teenagers like, or early twenties, man, you're getting stopped. Literally. So like they followed us on the video shoot all the way to like the other side of Canada and, and then obviously when we got to like a quiet road they decided to stop us and that. Uh, they like obviously you know they're good with just like making things up like that your insurance says this when it doesn't, things like that. Mm. So yeah, man. So just all right. just wanted to search us basically. Basically, they said no. Well, they checked our insurance. They checked that like, everything was correct. And then suddenly he smoked cannabis. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 just picked, so suddenly, like he said. Suddenly. So he told his colleagues, like, is everything all right yeah. with you? He's like, everything's all right. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing. I smoke cannabis. Everyone gets a car. You know what I mean? Like, you don't smell cannabis. You just followed us for so long. Like, you know what I mean? They just abused their power. Mm. Most of them. Uh, don't get me wrong. Like, some of them. I uh, fuck one of them, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's that. Bye. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not nice to be victimized when you ain't yeah. done nothing wrong in yeah, those situations. You ain't done nothing wrong, man. Like, obviously. Wait, wait, Rio, you was in the background. Were you, were you, were you no, in the... No, no, nah, nah, she was in the background. It's another, it's another woman. It's another woman. Oh, I thought, I thought that was Rio's saying so. It's another woman still, but... Yeah, man, literally, we were just dropping off my friend. Then we was going to go back home, innit? I don't know. It's funny, still. <laughs> but, yeah. Mad. And um, lastly, though, bro, what, what, what's your um, expectations, if you have any, for um, your EP? Is it, is it EP, EP or yeah. is it album? EP. EP, EP yeah, six EP. tracks, six, seven tracks, yeah. Yeah. I don't... I don't have any expectations. I just want it to do well. Do you know what I mean? I just want it to do well. And, yeah, man. That's about it. I just want to do videos for them. I just want them to do good. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I don't have no... Yeah. How do I measure well? Um, just, um, I don't even know, you know, just, just, just doing you're not, good. I know when it's something you know doing it, yeah, good, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's how I see it. Uh, oh, no, I know that's the last question, but do you, do you feel like Merriman did good? 
Um, that tune hard, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's hard, but obviously, it's got, it's got like, what, 307,000 views on YouTube or whatever. And but isn't, isn't that not good, though? Because I, I just might, I think the issue with, like, numbers becomes, like, becomes, it, it, it clouds people's judgment in a way. Yeah, yeah, it clouds people's judgment. You see, uh, you know how I feel about numbers? I feel like if you've got enough numbers, people just, people listen to you just because you've got that mm. much numbers. Mm. They want to know why so many people listen to you. Do you know what I mean? That That's only my issue, my only issue with numbers, like, um, in terms of everything else, like, if someone gets five, like 500 views is a lot, 1,000 views is a lot, 2,000 views is a lot, that's 2,000 people mm. or whatever, 1,800 people, that's a lot of people still, mm. that's a lot of people listening to your stuff. But it's, it's, it's good, but obviously everyone wants a lot of views, a lot of, yeah, man, a lot of views. The more views you get, the more money you get, innit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. All right, Blanks, we're going to leave it there because we're going to re-up on the block when I've got my hood pass. <laughs> <laughs> Get me? Yes. But yeah, man, my bro, it's good talking to you, my guy. Yeah, until next time, too.